All right, we'll be looking at the next syndrome before us. That's what is known as what? The Ogilvy syndrome. Ogilvy syndrome. So for this Ogilvy syndrome, it's also known as what? Acute colonic pseudo obstruction. Pseudo obstruction could be that the obstruction is not really complete. Yes, so let's look at it. Uh, this OGV syndrome is also known as what? Acute colonic pseudo obstruction. It's a condition where the colon suddenly becomes paralyzed and dilated without any physical blockage. Like, your colon is dilated, it's wide, but it's paralyzed, so it cannot make paris peristaltic movement. Do you understand? Right? So it cannot do peristalsis, so foot cannot move along it. There's no mechanical blockage, but you get it. So symptoms is abdominal distension, the swelling of the abdomen, right? abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, blotting and gassing, constipation, or diarrhea, anyone could come in. Right? So there's gas distended. These are to read the x-rays. Gas in the distending what? Descending um, colon. It's a dilated sickle. So, causes uh, Ogilvy syndrome often occur in hospitalized patients. Funny enough, especially after surgery, trauma, or severe illness. Okay. So, risk factors include if they have had electrolyte imbalance, right, or neurological diseases. So, you have diseases that are affecting your nervous system, or medication. So, drugs that affect your colony movement are like anticholinergic opioids. Okay. So, diagnosis typically involve imaging. Test that's x rays or CT scans, medical history of physical examination. Right. That. Treatment focus on relieving the symptoms <clears throat> distension, constipation, or diarrhea. Do you understand? Just you heat them up one by one. Then electrolyte correction, so they should correct the electrolyte imbalance, colon decompression, medication, nystagmine may be used to now stimulate colonic motility. Right. So I'll be so brief and comprehensive. See you guys pretty soon.